Hey, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of the Rebutter Chrome extension. I'm going to try and make it as quick as possible, so I'm not going to describe information within these articles at all. Just understand that the point of Rebutter is to connect rebuttals to claims. So here's an article that makes a claim. Rebutter indicates that we have one rebuttal to this, which has been entered into the system. Bring that up, bring, gives you a link, you click on that, and it takes you through to another page which has, in this case, a video that rebuts the original article. It argues the opposing perspective. Another example here, uh, a, an article by Russell Blackford. There's a rebuttal to it. Click on that. It opens up a rebuttal by William Kavanagh, which addresses, you click on that, it takes you back to Russell's original article. We don't want that, because um, on this page, there's some more rebuttals to it. So you can click through and get Russell's reply to Williams reply to Russell. So Roboto has allowed us to follow a conversation forward through three different pages which if you had have started at this article you would have no idea that these other replies exist. Another application is um, to find out about discourse that's happening behind say a product like um, the Mac iBook which has just recently been released. Um, there's lots of discussion happening about this online recently because the uh, user, user license uh, is quite uh, peculiar in a particular way. I won't go into it, but the point is is that here's someone who's written a long blog entry about the product, and then someone else has argued against it and written their own blog article that goes into an analysis of this article. And then they've basically gone on to a, a discussion where they're going back and forth between each of their respective blogs, counterpointing each other eventually gets to a point where someone else chimes in. Now, um, these, are, these are the rebuttals in the system. There may be more discussion going on, but that's how easy it is to use rebutter. When something's in the system, you just see the little one, or uh, here, was it here, one or more, so that's four rebuttals. If you see the number, click on it, read the comments. So it raises concerns about the end user license agreement gives you an idea of what the link's about. Click on the link, it opens it up in a new tab. Um, then there's one final example which steps out from these a little bit, which is to go into a broad rebuttal. So this is a specific article, uh, and the rebuttal to this is a link to a Wikipedia page. And this Wikipedia page doesn't know or care about this article. It's not rebutting this article at all. But what it does do is rebut the article. It doesn't do it intentionally, but the facts that it prevent, presents, referenced sources and verifiable information, absolutely argues against the claims made in this article. And as such, it is an appropriate re general rebuttal to the article. Uh, and that's pretty much the end of the demonstration. You can see how easy it is to, to use the app once it's installed. Just click through to the link and it loads the link up. Thanks for watching.